At the moment, there appears to be very little political will to do this. And remember, the process is quite lengthy. Uh, it would take uh, roughly six months, really, before we would r seriously be considering fines being imposed. There's a lot of politics between now and six months. So I don't think that there is an immediate threat in that regard. And the Italian government is sounding r relatively resolute. They may make a token gesture or two, but I think they're likely to stick to their, their guns on this one. Okay, so uh, what then transpires if we, we of course, see this deadlock continue as, as we progress over 2019? Uh, Do we see uh, the European Commission get more, more heavy-handed when it comes to dealing with Italy? Well, it's, it's not actually down to the European Commission. The European Commission re recommends, but it is the other governments of Europe that actually have to take action. Um, and so uh, this is where we get into you know, the, the politics of Europe and will other governments be willing to take action uh, against Italy in this regard. I think uh, at this stage, the, the bond market is not providing a great deal of pressure to uh, Italy, uh, as you were saying. I mean, we didn't see a, a strong negative reaction yesterday. And at the end of the day, we have to remember Italy is one of the most wealthy countries in the world, and mind Europe, I mean, it's an extraordinarily wealthy country. Um, Italian grandmothers can pay for the Italian national debt three or four times over. So the domestic resources are available for Italy to finance its deficit, to finance its bond market. It's got a large deficit at a government level, but it's got an enormous amount of wealth at a private level. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.